I'm proud to sponsor um, HR 5641, the Speed Recovery Act. Um, it's a bipartisan bill that cuts red tape and helps expedite disaster recovery efforts, especially in the small and rural areas that we have throughout the country. This legislation updates the threshold of what FEMA considers a, a small project. It updates it to a million under the Stafford Act, $1 million under the Stafford Act. This is the first statutory adjustment under the Stafford Act for inflation and rising repair costs in nearly um, three decades. Historically, small projects have accounted for about 95% of all the recovery projects, but the prolonged failure to increase the cost threshold now means that 25% of these projects no longer qualify as, as small projects. That puts a huge burden on small rural communities that simply don't have the same kind of resources deal, to deal with the, the bureaucratic uh, or the bureaucracy at, at FEMA. For places like Craig, Missouri or, or Brunswick, Missouri, both of which got hammered by the flood of 2019, it's meant more delays and headaches uh, just trying to get the help that they need to recover and, and to rebuild. Updating the small project threshold is gonna allow these communities to have more control over their disaster recovery efforts and to allow FEMA to focus more on their time and their time and resources uh, on larger and much more complex projects, which represent 90% of all uh, disaster costs. After hearing directly from the communities in my district about the, the paperwork burdens and the increasing denials over technicalities. Uh, my hope is that this common sense adjustment uh, to the small project threshold is going to improve uh, the process and speed up recoveries for many, many of our, uh, our communities. We've also received a lot of support for this bill from emergency managers themselves. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I would ask unanimous consent to enter into the record uh, a joint letter that we have in support um, from the National Emergency Management Association, uh, the Big City Emergency Managers, and the International Association of Emergency Managers. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, with that, I would urge support of this legislation and reserve the balance of my time.